What's up guys, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Children of a Dead Earth. We are going to be talking about kinetic kill vehicles. What is a kinetic kill vehicle? Well, plain and simple, it is an energy weapon that makes use of that sweet, sweet kinetic energy that we are all so familiar with. The basic idea behind a kinetic kill vehicle is that you just accelerate towards the target and obtain an obscene velocity and ram into them. No explosives? Here is the first kinetic kill vehicle that I designed, which I sort of used and talked about towards the end of my video about nuclear coil guns. I'd sort of stumbled upon this accidentally because I noticed some of my nuclear missiles weren't detonating. They were just hitting the enemy, I presume because they were moving too quickly and the detonator didn't have time to go off. So this is just a very basic model. I launch it out of a coil gun. And this is the coil gun here that I was using. Now being my first foray into kinetic kill vehicles and missile launched coil guns, this is a very crude model, very large, very heavy, and very expensive. In fact, what I've come to realize is most of the cost comes from the nickel iron molybdenum uh, ammunition. And the reason for this is because I had to make the bore radius of the weapon so wide, and I had to make the ammunition so massive that it just consumes such a great cost. And I had to do this because the radius of the actual vehicle itself is uh, somewhere in the 20 centimeter range. Yes, this vehicle actually had a diameter of 38.6 centimeters, which is just way too much. So I went back to the drawing board and eventually I came out with the KKV Mark II, a much more sophisticated, sleeker, and sexy model. With a fluorine hydrogen gimbaled combustion engine, one 18.8 kilogram fluorine tank, and one kilogram hydrogen tank. This baby has a delta V of 7.61 kilometers per second and an acceleration of 23 Gs. So yeah, this one, only has a diameter of only 25.1 centimeters, about uh, more than 10 centimeters uh, lesser, which gives us the 54 megawatt KKV MK1 turreted coil gun, quite a bit cheaper. The nickel iron molybdenum still makes up a larger portion of the cost, but because the bore radius is much lesser at 19 centimeters, the ammunition can be much smaller and results in a much cheaper price tag to begin with. It is capable of launching each missile at a muzzle velocity of 4.48 kilometers per second, a very respectable speed to get things started off, and then from there the kinetic kill vehicle takes over with its own engine and reaction mass and accelerates towards the enemy, guiding it to the enemy's destruction with deadly precision out to 100 kilometers or even more. This is the Kill Storm Coil KKV Mark II. 54 megawatt KKV MK2 turreted coil gun mounted on the prow. And I also have one green 13 megawatt laser that I've modified to give it a 100 kilometer engagement range. All right, where do we want to fight around today? Let's pick a nice asteroid. I think last time I was at Cleopatra. How about... This is an interesting looking asteroid. It looks kind of like uh, an almond or, or nut, in fact. All right, let's make the enemy aggressive to get this fight going quickly. We will, of course, use our Killstorm Mark II, one of those, and let's go up against an enemy gunship. If you can kill a gunship, then you're pretty good. Of course, that says nothing about how you would perform up against a carrier, but of course, defeating enemy drones launched from a carrier is a completely different video. Only one ship is the Killstorm, and it's on my side. Okay, so we are engaging the enemy at 100 kilometers. That is thanks to my green laser, which has an engagement range set out to 100 kilometers. Otherwise, we would have engaged the enemy at a range appropriate for the Mark II coil gun, which is of course based only on the muzzle velocity and does not take into account the fact that it's launching missiles, which have quite a great range. Unpause. And there is the big, the big asteroid. Actually, the uh, fifth asteroid ever discovered after the Big Four. I wonder, w ooh, is that the sun out there? It wouldn't be very bright around yonder. All right, so let's ignore range. And now the coil gun is launching the KKVs. We are burning at 
23 G's. We're going to expend most, if not all, of our fuel before we get to the enemy. Enemies are no longer a threat. It happened so fast, we missed it. And we are safe at more than 100 kilometers. If I can click on the enemy ship, we can maybe see... Get an idea. Let's get an idea of the damages. So yeah, we just ripped a hole in enemy hull right in the area of largest heat generation because the missiles will, of course, home in on heat signatures. Look at that. They just punched right through the hull over here, ripped up internal components, and caused a damage on the other side. The ship would have been rotating, so I'm not, maybe... Oh yeah, look at that. We've... We took out, I guess, one of the crew modules. The reactor has certainly been taken out. Took out some methane tanks. Alright, we're here again. Let's get this going again and actually observe the ship as we make our impacts. So here's our unsuspecting gunship, a stock ship, having no idea what it's up against. I mean, it's really unfair that the computer is stuck with these stock ships. All right. One thing I'm noticing is that these KKVs aren't actually punching through the entire ship, which is a good thing. Because if your KKV shoots right through the armor, there's a good chance it won't... It might not even hit any, you know, important components. But if it doesn't get through the armor, that means it sort of disintegrated inside the ship, which is very nice. Oh, this time they're launching flak missiles. What will happen? How is my ship going to handle flak missiles? Well, we're not even fighting flak missiles right now, so it is irrelevant. So yeah, notice how my missiles are already traveling at more than 5 kilometers per second from the initial gun, and now they're accelerating with their engines. So here we are looking at the enemy gunship. Let's see how it does. Yes! So the first three or four, it seems like, completely disabled the ship because they took out the power generation. And then a bunch more hit in the same position. I don't know where this damage up here came from. Could something have been bouncing around inside the hull? Like something... Oh, I think some. I think uh, one of the KKVs skimmed along the very front of the ship and maybe went in over here. Could something have like ricocheted all the way down the length of the ship and exited the ship the, through the armor over here? I don't know if that could happen. Three, two, one. Oh, something different is happening. It looks like the enemy gunship is actually has gotten was able to rotate in time and is actually using its ultraviolet laser to take out all the KKVs. They're being destroyed before they get any damage. So, I mean, if we had just a slightly greater rate of fire, we would overwhelm that one ultraviolet laser. So I think we should probably stop firing for now. Well, gunship, you win this round. But the thing is, the enemy is going to re-rotate back towards us. They're going to get closer. Then we're going to continue to launch some more KKVs, and they won't have enough time to rotate in time. And we will destroy them. All right, let's give them another volley. Yeah, that got them. Okay, I think we need to put my ship up against a greater challenge. Let's try three gunships, how about? How about some gun skiffs? My one little ship. Let's see how they do. We are firing our KKVs. Kinetic kill vehicles. KKD is also pretty good. Kinetic kill device. Anything that uses kineticism. Right, they're trying to fire their lasers. We took out one of their ships. We've... Wow. Oh my god. I couldn't even really... 
I, I feel like I missed it all. Like, I blinked and was looking away for a few seconds, and then they're all dead. Let's do this again. Maybe we can get a, a better view of the action, because that's what we're here for, really, is all the cool special effects of ships being destroyed. All right, this, this should be not bad. Yeah, this is pretty good. Then we can see the red diamonds turn gray as they get taken out. As they get ripped to shreds. One down, two down, three down, four, five. This is just obscene. That's a nice thing about uh, guided missiles, you know, they see that their primary target's been destroyed and they redirect very smart, not dumb. Looks like two or three missiles per ship. We have the best missiles. Never stood a chance. And how, did, how come this ship is dead? It didn't... Oh, it took a hit to the prow. And that is the Mark II kinetic kill device launched from a coil gun. Now, there are other ways of launching kinetic kill devices. You can launch them traditionally like a regular missile. I give you the Killstorm Launcher KKV. This ship is outfitted with six 210 kilowatt KKV MK2 launchers ringed around the front of the ship. Six launchers each firing missiles. The nice thing about these launchers is that they consume very little electricity. However, since the missiles do not get the initial boost from the coil gun, all acceleration must come from the missile's own onboard fuel supply, so their end velocity may not be as great. If you can get up to 5 or so kilometers per second or greater, that's a pretty good start. Anything below 5 kilometers, and it's probably really not good. There is, a, there is an issue with this design that we will see very soon in the sandbox. Okay, let's throw in a Killstorm launcher, and let's go up against one gunship. I have my launcher set to engage the enemy at 100 kilometers. There it is on my rangefinder, so we can begin to immediately launch missiles. Any second now. And there they go. Six tentacles of death. That's enough for now, I'm gonna cut them off. So these missiles are going towards the enemy. Now under the new missile AI, they should consume 60% of their fuel during the boost phase. However, they're not going to. As you can see, they're all running out of fuel. What's happening is that the acceleration is too great, so the fuel supply cannot be shut off as the engine is being fed by acceleration alone. And because of our premature loss of fuel, the ships do not have the navigational ability to actually make contact with the target. Of course, just sending a huge wave of missiles at the enemy, even if they can't navigate or maneuver in any way, can still usually take out the enemy. I mean, just as a huge w cloud of dead hurtling missiles, I mean, there's no way this uh, gunship can navigate such a field of debris, and it's probably going to be destroyed. At the cost of my frame rates, no doubt. Enemy gunship armor is being damaged. Alright, that nonsense went on for about 30 seconds, but now my frame rate is decent again. You can see the gunship is taking out a few missiles with its lasers, but not enough. Huh. Okay, so I think we, we failed to kill the enemy. We did some damage. I think our main problem, though, was perhaps the lack of velocity on part of the KKVs. Without that initial boost from the coil gun, I don't think they were able to get up to enough speed with their fuel alone. But yeah, we managed to rip some pretty nasty holes in this ship. Okay, here we are again with the missile launcher variety. This time, let's take a closer look at the missile and see what they're actually... Let's see what kind of velocity the missiles get up to. So we'll just launch a bunch of these. So we're accelerating towards the enemy at 2 kilometers per second right now. Burning through all of our fuel pretty quickly. What are we going to get up to? Yep. We managed to get up to, I think, 7 kilometers per second. Which is a pretty respectable amount, actually, when you think about it. This time we took out the gunship, though, from a few lucky hits. Uh, I don't know, maybe we just got unlucky in that previous attempt. Maybe that's all there was to it. 
my name is Rudy, and that was my foray into kinetic kill vehicles. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what you think about kinetic kill vehicles, and good luck with your designs.